us. What's up with you? Not much, man. What's new? Think about getting married. No cap. I found somebody. I mean, I've always had this person, but it's getting real now. Hmm. Let's talk about it. Uh, no, nah, I mean, not her, it was, obviously. We're uh, not going to get into her. Uh, okay. Let's talk about this relationship. How is it? Like, like what do you even, what do you look for in a woman? Well, I mean, I'm in a relationship, so I don't look no more, but... Obviously, Mitch, we get it. You are loyal. But, like, when it comes to a woman, what <clears throat> what do you look for? I don't know, like, a girl who hasn't been through a lot. I like, I like girls who haven't been through a lot. Like, just pure, nice, innocent, untraumatized girls. That's what I look for. You look for not traumatized women? Yeah. What do you mean by that? I always end up with somebody crazy. I always end up with somebody crazy. God. That'll be a good way to describe what I'm going through right now. So let me ask you a question. Do you feel like... Relationships should be equal. Yes. And what, like, in one sense, like, what, what even is, what is equal? Like, what do you mean? I feel like it should be equal in every sense, like, like in every like sense, like the bill at dinner, the bill, bills in the house, everything, like situations too. Like what? Like if I fight, we fight type shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, like if a nigga pressing you outside the club, she need to be. Yeah, ready. you have to help me. Like that's the whole thing. Like if you want it to be equal and all that equality shit, then it don't stop. I don't think it. no women wants to be equal. But oh, you mean like equal in life, just yeah. men and women? Yeah, like then it don't stop. Like it don't stop. Like so, okay. Because if you get in a fight, it's like oh, I got to break it. All right. If these so niggas if a woman want to date me, at equal. Yeah. Okay. So. Everything is equal, though. Everything. Everything. Yeah, everything. You ain't taking care of shit. No, no, no. We, we just split it. That's why we just split everything. Hell, you're not. You're not taking care of shit. Except for half. Yeah, yes. And that's, that's what equal is to me. Hmm. But if it's like one of those things where I got to like pay for everything, then like no equal. You don't fuck with that. Less privileges. Way less privileges. Like what? Like that's how it works. Like if it wasn't equal, I would get extra privileges. And then my girl would get less privileges. Like what? Like vagina from outside sources. And like you couldn't be mad about that since like I'm paying for like more shit. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. I mean, I'm just interested. You started the show saying you're getting married. And um, that, yeah. like I never knew you were like a, honestly a, a marriage guy. So It's like I'm just over it. Like everything's over. become way too difficult now. I don't even care anymore. I'm just about to... Just settle down. You found it because you have that one. It's not so much that I have the one. It's just like so. She's so, so psycho. Like I just don't even have time to like. Print up. Print up. Print up. Yeah, sure. Why not? Just thinking about my account right now. Like whatever, take it. <laughs> Let's go. No, no. Print up is. Do you know what print up is, boy? Yeah, print up is. I signed on the paper that says she can get half of my shit. <laughs> what? Does that know what a prenup is? Oh, but she doesn't take half my You're shit. a fucking dumbass. Oh man, I couldn't have I couldn't have guessed that was how you were gonna react to that. But all right, well, d- did you? Bro, this a- is coming from the same nigga that called a flute or what? Remember? The cello. The cello. Like, shut up. That was seven years mistakes. ago. Right? That was. It that doesn't was, matter. It was seven cello. years ago, and I was freestyling. Put the line up here somewhere. The dumbass line that he said. Put it up there. My new bitch cello. She blow that dick like a cello. Okay, let's stop for a second. Before you come at me, I'm gonna let you know. Okay, I'm gonna blame my A and I because he listened to that song many times and he allowed me to say that. Okay. On God. That shit. On God. You, when you heard that song for the first time, you didn't know. You didn't think that. I don't care what you say. You didn't. On God. You didn't. Shut up. All right. I'm not a, a master of woodwind instruments. Yeah, right. I'm not a master of bears, nigga. Fuck you. You the one getting married. I mean, I was thinking about it. Maybe like forced into a more accurate term. All right. What's your uh? What's the most you spend on a ring? I, I always had this like smart idea to like, like try to do something with like gems and stuff, so I wouldn't have to pay a lot. 
Are you like make it like, you're one of them niggas. Yeah, like make it like art. Until like it's art. Like diamonds are so like like everyone has a diamond like I like. Oh yeah, that's how you gonna split it. Yeah, yeah, like you want a diamond like what the fuck? What you want next? A Lamborghini truck? You want a fucking Birkin? Like, yeah, like you know, yeah, yeah. Get use a. Uh, 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 what's a funny stone? Like what's that black? Like a meteorite stone or some shit? Like a like a like what? The, <laughs> and you gonna have it like wrapped in like copper like wiring? Like it's on some <laughs> man. Put, Honestly, I'm really like a sicko with that shit. Like like I'll be making everything seem like it's like whack. Like yeah. you want to go there and eat that small ass food? We can go somewhere and get this shit for like twenty dollars. Like, that's mm-hmm. stupid. My homeboy cook. Like we could really get a full. Yeah. Plate. Like, do you want the food to taste good, or do you want to just take a picture? You, but you're one of those niggas. You're picture taking ass. You're literally one of those picture taking ass food niggas. Yeah. That's cool. You think you're a contradictor? I mean, yeah. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. There's something wrong with me. Yeah. What was that one Playboy Cardi album supposed to be called? Narcissist. You think you're a narcissist? Do you think you're a narcissist? That's not I'm asking you, do you? No, 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 no. Fuck that. That's a good question. That's a better question for you. Do you think you're a narcissist? Narcissist. <laughs> Narcissistic personality disorder is a mental health condition in, in which people have an unreasonably high sense of their own importance. They need and seek too much attention and want people to admire them. Absolutely not. I might be the complete Wait, opposite. Wait, hold on. Your I may- in here, yo. Do you think boats? Uh, she's not. She's no, she's but, but you can ask anybody in here, though. I don't. I, I post. I post on my page. You post more than I do. All right. I tweet maybe once every two months for promotional use or for post picture use. Um. What are the things you do that I don't? You post your location every time you touch down in the city. Every time you go to a restaurant, you have to post what you're eating. Um, you have to. Uh, you you take more fit pics than I do. Um, let's see. Take do you put picture. captions on your pictures? Yeah. You put captions on your pictures. Um, hmm. Yo, bro, all of this is normal. Like, yeah, I take pictures and like more pictures and shit. Like. I'm from Mobile, Alabama. You also, like, also, nobody from my like where I'm from has seen none of this shit. So that's why I do it. I mean, it just sounds like you're the narcissistic one out of this out of this one. That's why I asked you, obviously. What you think? You went out of your way to become famous. Yeah, but that. A whole thing. Yeah, I went out of my way to become famous because I did not want to be broke, at all. I knew this yeah, it was true. I did not. I couldn't. I refused. And it's so crazy that I always wanted to be rich and famous, but I didn't really want to be rich and famous until I went to college. When I went to college at Alabama State University, that's when it really hit me that, whoa. No, no. Well, in college, but I wasn't really as active on my dreams until I went to jail. And when I went to jail and realized, whoa. I went to jail. That's that moment when all those thoughts of teaching be like, oh, you're going to be dead or in jail. Or you keep. And they used to say shit like that only because you was fucking like laughing in class and shit. Like, you'd be <laughs> laughing with your homies in class. Like, you think it's fun. You're going to end up dead or in jail. And I sh- all that shit hit me when I went to jail. Then I got out and went back to Alabama. And I'll never forget walking to campus and seeing all the kids and being like, man. Y'all ain't gonna do shit with y'all life. And then just thinking of all the people back home in my neighborhood who had graduated and came home from school and was still at home with their parents. I was like, oh, wow. Everyone has degrees and diplomas and like still ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, oh, no, no, no. And then I remember being in my history class and the teacher was talking and shit. And I was like, yo, bro, this shit is so stupid. I have to get rich and famous because I cannot work in a desk. And I can't, like, most people got, a lot of people got them go to school in the state, then they end up staying in that state. I'm like, oh my God, imagine me staying in Alabama. I was like, God, I can't do this shit. And my mom was such a fucking prick. Mom was such a prick, man. Her rules were insane. I just couldn't, I couldn't imagine myself living there. I did not want to go back there. That's why I got rich and famous. But not because I wanted people to be like, oh my God, hello, Yachty. You're my inspiration. I don't even know how to react when people say that type of shit. I think it's fucking not weird, but it's just like, I don't know. You know, it's so crazy. I don't even speak on the things I do publicly. Like, I don't, I don't go on and be like, like I, I've never said anywhere, like, oh, I think I'm one of the best dressed. I've never said that. Ever. I don't even speak on my, like, I never said that about my rapping ability. 
Drop that shit, man. I be going. Nothing. I literally think I am the opposite of this definition. I think I'm like anti-narcissist. That's something a narcissist person would say. Hey, how was Joe, though? Huh? How was Joe? Terrible. No. No. Terrible in the sense it was freezing cold. The, 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 the cot was an inch thick. But I honestly had a really, it, I don't want to say a pleasant experience because it was fucking Florida. Um, but they weren't weird, you know? Like, niggas had looked crazy. They had gold teeth and wicks and shit. But, like, they was really chilling. And I was with Reese. So, like, I genuinely feel like if anything happened, it was just us two versus everybody, you know? Versus, like, if I was in a bitch by myself, probably would have been a lot more, like, on edge. But, like, it was me and Reese. So I was like, it's like, shit. It's crazy how that's the wake up call though. You go to jail, that shit is a real wake up. Absolutely. Call. Absolutely. Like, well, jail and 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 in nearby death. Nearby death or experiencing death from a loved one who wasn't old. Those two are wake up calls for me. And it's not for everyone, but I think for me specifically it's like a thing of like before Reese died, but really when he died and when Takeoff died and shit, that's when it was a real thing for me to really truly understand. Genuinely, and X, and Juice, I guess. But it, that's when I got the solid understanding that life is so short. And, like, n no matter how rich you are, no matter how famous you are, like, nothing, no matter how healthy you are, life is just not promised. And that's when I really started to get, I kind of always been this way, but it's when it truly cemented in me that, like, it's no way, it's no way that I'm going to not do something because of the opinion of somebody else. You know, like I'm not going to not, oh, you know, if I want to paint my nails or if I want to wear a certain outfit or if I want to, whatever, I'm never going to not do it because of what somebody else may think. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that was because of the wake up call of like, bro, you could die tomorrow. Like, like you could either wake up and die or just not wake up. And then, and then like seeing how people like, you know, it's only such, it's a time limit on like the sadness from people like life never stops you know i agree maybe maybe i'm a bit of a narcissist though because i kind of hate like like when you die and say like how the world don't like stop for you and like, what if i could still go laugh and play and shit like damn what yeah like like i'm saying like when i like when i die like like you're still gonna go and like do shit like i don't want it to be like that like i want niggas to really be like shaking up like you know what i just thought about Right. It's actually insane to thought that, like, you know, if you die and, like, your girl just, like, moves on. Like, she's after that, you die. She's just, like, fucking other niggas and sucking other dicks and shit like that. I mean, your girl might be doing that while you're alive. But if I died, whoever I was with. Well, I, I honestly don't think my girl would. I'm already training her for that. Like to not do Tra that. Training? Training. Train? Training. Mm. Wait, what do you... Wh Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, wait, okay, wait. I'm curious. Now, now I'm... All right, so look. I'm a chef a bit, and it's just something I just feel like that. I think this is a conversation that men are like, don't have the conversation about, but this is something that I thoroughly think about um you know because i just speaking on your girl fucking other niggas when you die um but she will not right um the concept not the concept of sex right but like in today's time like the shit that's like like for the average like like for the broke man because sex is different between the broke man and the rich man right and i think i've read someone on twitter that women think um, sex is better with broke men, which it probably is because I know, like, I'm probably much more lazy than the broke man. Bro, two things to be aware of, a broke nigga and, like, an overly horny nigga, bro. Them niggas be crazy. Most broke men are overly horny. Yeah, they got more to lose coming from a freshly former broke person. Well, and I think they're just, I think sex is just much more important. Like, it's like money ain't on their mind. They ain't getting no fucking money. Shit, we trying to fuck bitches. 
By the way, I think everyone's trying to fuck bitches, but I think broke niggas don't have a, a split mind between money and bitches. I think it's just bitches. As to like a nigga like with some money or a business is like, yeah, like sex is cool, but also like, bro, there's so much other things that I got I gotta get done. My whole thing is like I approach it like with a more competitive spirit, like like more like on some one on one type shit. Like like if I get there before you, like it's over, like game like, like game's over. Like, if I hit 21 before you, it's over. Oh, I mean, absolutely. Like, I'm not into the whole, like, sexual fantasy. Like, baby, like, your body is like, yo, you got, like, seven minutes left. Like, yeah. pat you on the back. Like, yo, seven and minutes. And it's done. Yeah, and it's over. Yeah. Second round, not happening. Mm. Not happening. Respect. Yeah. Respect. Third Respect. round. Third. Yeah. Third round, girl. You aching by then. Man, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, What's I don't, coming out? I think it's honestly some old nigga shit. I think it's like generations before us that was into the sex for a whole album. Like turn an album on and have sex for an entire album. Yeah, that you know? shit. Like old niggas talk. Like when you listen to old R&B songs, you talk about having sex to the sunrise. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you going to have sex yeah, to the like sunrise? Sex to the sunrise is crazy. Yo, I'm bro, on some sex to Sex for hours? Song over on YouTube, like... Like I, I've, mm-hmm. even in my head, I've tried to break down the concept of having long sex, and I just can't imagine it being like imagine getting hit for an hour. I actually have gotten hit for a long time, and it is sucks. It sucks, bro. And <laughs> and and I'll tell you, it makes it suck even worse. You have to act like you like it the entire time, <laughs> brother. It is torture. Oh no lie, bro. It's like two hours and forty eight minutes, some weird duration like that. And I had to act like I liked it the whole time. No lie, thirty minutes into it, I'm numb. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm just like yeah, playing a role. That shit sucks. It's tough. It's, it's not a gift. Don't try, don't don't gift me with that. Like I don't want my dick suck for like six hours. That's just, I'm, so so I'm, I'm right into that. So let's talk. What's the and like in your situation? In that situation, what's the like like what situation would you have said like was one where you were just like the most into it? Like like, uh, like like the most like the most you the best performance you've gave. You know what I'm saying? The I remember most, my best performance. And and it was very unrealistic. I thought it would always be like that. Like ain't gonna lie. Five rounds. Five. Five rounds. I'm talking about. You dead serious? This is like probably my second time having sex though. You, you like you I damn near had on football uniform. Yeah, five rounds. Like every time, like it's just like I, I could keep going. Like you beat and I thought it was gonna be like that. Five. Five rounds. And she was a whore, brother. No, uh, like I had to be like probably like the thirtieth dude to hit, but it wasn't about that. <laughs> Oh no, I no, but I get that though. I think my my first, th- I lost my virginity. Like my ex, she was my second girlfriend. No disrespect, in case you see this. Oh, uh, I know her. Uh, <laughs> but I for sure had to have been thirty if guy she went. And I never forget. I can confirm from from my side of town. For sure, probably was the 30th. for sure yeah, thirty. I never forget the first time I, we were dating, and I went to her house. I was so young, and she was like just so much more advanced than me mentally. Right. And I'll never forget going there and going in her room, right, in the bed. And it was an open condom in the bed. Like, she may have had sex right before I got there. You know what I'm saying? And I remember, I was so naive and stupid. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, this is an open condom? She's like, yeah, my sister was just in before me. I was like, oh, okay. Bro. Like, in her room. It's so crazy thinking back. I'll never forget it. Because, like, I had no problem. I was just like, mm. oh, okay. <laughs> Things are like, mm. Yeah. Cool. But I never, also never forget the first time that we had sex. I was, like, so, conf- not confused, but I was just did not know what I was doing. Also, now looking back on it and thinking back on it, she probably just wasn't that loose. I mean, wasn't that tight. Because, like. Bro. Same. That yeah. Because I was just like, damn, this is not. This doesn't feel like all the movies you think. Like, yeah, that's how it was to me. I was like, whoa, oh, like falling, like really falling into that shit. Like, damn, like that shit had me kind of insecure. Like, whoa, what are you used to? Like what? <laughs> like, because like, it, it wasn't like I had me feeling like you know maybe I wasn't doing. Like, what do you mean? Like you know maybe it wasn't. Like, like she just was like. Like she just wasn't moved. It seemed like. Yeah, I didn't have that situation. It was just more so like it didn't feel. Far. It was just whatever. Like I didn't even. I didn't even. Not, it was just like. I was just like, this is Bro, what it's like. I had a, I had a, I had a similar situation with the condom thing though, but like I knew she was lying. 
Actually, mm. it's actually about a girl you told me that was a complete whore. Mm. And I said she wasn't. But, and then this happened, and I did not want to tell you, but I went to, like, I went to her restroom, and then I, like, went through the trash or whatever. Mm-hmm. Wait. <laughs> I pulled my gloves out. I had on gloves. That's, uh, you don't got to add. You don't have to add a lot to the truth. What I'm I didn't have is, gloves, but I got the tissue, and I, I picked it up the tissue. I don't think you did that either. But what I'm saying is, why did you go through her trash? Oh, this is a hack. If you ever want to know if she's lying about something, just go through her trash. That's where all your answers are. Restroom trash specifically. You don't go through kitchen trash. You honestly really might be on to something right now. Go through her restroom. Bro, that shit hits every time, bro. I've and never done that ever in my life, but also I've never had anyone that I ever felt the need to do that for because I don't get serious with like I've never I don't think there's I, I, and I can wholeheartedly that's not how you pray I can wholeheartedly say oh someone <laughs> doesn't was, believe you. that was so weird I can wholeheartedly say I can wholeheartedly say I love I, I love okay but I'm just hey, I'm not oh, saying you don't shit. love God but if you love God so much you would know how to pray but no, I'm, it's whatever anyways I, I can wholeheartedly say I've never dealt with someone on like I've never had a serious, or even not even dating, just like talk to someone who I genuinely loved and ever felt like they were doing something, you know? Well, well, I had just met her. Then why'd you go to a trash if you just met her? Like, because like, even... I want the answers before you give them to me. So I just, I'm going, I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh. yeah, but you don't think you already set the relationship up to be weird if it's like you start going through her trash? It's like you, you don't believe her. What the fuck is, that's just, oh, I hate the word toxic, but that's just crazy, you know? I like, asked her, and then I asked her, and she was like, those bitches are whores, always fucking on my couch and stuff like that. And I, at that point, I knew we could never be anything. I knew she was like, she says when y'all first met, y'all went for a while. So, that being said. I mean, we went for a while, but I'm saying she was never like the one. If you're watching this, you and I swear, I... bro. Why do you? So you don't know who my you don't know who my ones. She was one of my ones. At that time, bro, I honestly thought I lost you, bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm all jokes aside. I ain't even laughing. I, during that time period, definitely thought I lost you. Would but you talk fair. to a girl that's considered a whore? When you say talk to me, mean like, like, like take her seriously, like how how you think I did, like how you think I'm doing, like how you think I, like, I know, like how you did. Oh, uh, if she was a whore when you had it, doesn't. Well, it mean depends what you mean, cause you can take someone serious and it just not be monogamous. That's what I was doing, bro. You try to make it seem like I was a girl. loser, bro. No, 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 that was your girl, bro. You were yes, yeah, she was my girl, bro, but I was public, still living public with her. You were staying in her house. She was wearing your chain. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, 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 we go. Uh, my bad. <clears throat> Probably the most embarrassing part, though, was when we went to Delilah's. Yeah, I know you told me. I think you talked about <gasps> Didn't you talk about this last time? Oh, no, no, that was off. <gasps> that was off, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I don't want to get to specific. No, we'll move on. We'll yeah. move on. We'll move on. We'll move on. It just depends, though. Like, if we're talking about, like, you fucked a lot of niggas, sometimes I don't find that as a whole. You know, like, I think it's more so a hoe, like, when you just, like, when you a hoe, like, intentions of being a hoe. You know, like, I don't think it makes you a hoe because you fucked a lot of people. I think it makes you a hoe when you just, like, on whole shit. Like, yeah, I agree. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I agree. I'll be so liking them, too, though. I'll be liking them, too. Wait, what are you saying? Wait, wait, no, no, no. What? I'm saying that I don't, I don't, like, I'm not like, I'm like, oh, ew, stay away. Especially if she, shit, if you... If I'm the only nigga who ain't hit, I'm not finna be like, ugh, cooties. It's like, hold on, like, did you? But you, we're not talking about hitting. We're talking about dating? What do you, you say? What I, do you? I don't think so, bro. I'll be into, like, but even when it comes to, like, messing with somebody, like, seriously, I think I can, I think I pretty much have pride in any any woman I've ever, like, gotten to that level with was was a good woman right yeah you you have pretty good judgment mine suck like them girls be cheating on me like damn <laughs> you know, well, you're I mean, you literally right about started the show saying every you do everything equal so i mean i'm pretty sure uh, yeah yeah pretty really different yeah. in that statement terrible but. communication yeah. i guess there's really no reason not to cheat on me yeah i'm 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 the complete opposite yeah there's more reason that's it's more to lose there more to lose 
with me, just about to lose a nigga, was probably not gonna answer the phone anyway. Probably wanna split Zach speed bills. <laughs> so, okay. Only one Zach saw so chill, too. You ever, you ever, would you date someone with an OnlyFans? It depends on how profitable it is. No, uh, no cap. Bitch, if you're only, like, cause what type of bitch? Okay. I wanna do this thing, too. When I say bitch, cause I feel like I say it a lot. I do, too. I wanna put a clip over saying women over it. Say women, but like if you don't like the internet and you showing your ass and shit, and, like you probably got like sixteen inch vibrator with fucking automatic drive. <laughs> 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 what the fuck, like? And then you made like two hundred and eighty three dollars this month. Like, no, we got two hundred dollars. Two hundred eighty three dollars this month. I'm only fans. Like, no, we got to hustle. Like. Do I got to sh- Like, whatever we got to do. <laughs> we're going to get the money. Like, I'll work it out. Like, she got an oily fans, so don't lie. I'll work it out somehow. Like, we need to get this money because $600 this month. Wait, so like, you I just watch you take six dildos Wait, for breakfast. Te- like, you didn't even eat cornflakes or nothing. Are you telling me this month we made $600? That's te- technically nah, pimping, bro. bro. Hmm. That's technically pimping. Baby? <laughs> that's baby? I, I mean, I guess that's probably so. The, you will participate in in your girl's OnlyFans content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like if it's not profitable, I would try to make it profitable. And if she can't blow up, now I just gotta move on. Hmm. Yeah, I move on. Type shit. Okay. But I would love to be in a situation like where a girl has a, like half a million dollars a month or something like that. Yeah. Like, that's like, literally. Chilling. It's not hard to be one of those women. I, I think. And then depending on how much money she makes, like I might. I might let like one of the bros hit or something <laughs> on camera. Like, how much money are we finna make? Like, I might let one of the. One of the fin- hey, you see fun. what I'm saying? Like, like, we can make it like fun. So, like, actually, yeah, that's actually what I'm looking for now. I don't know if I go as far as like some of the things you said. I don't know if I'm fully into. What I lose you have? Like, I definitely don't give a fuck about OnlyFans. Like, especially if you make, if it's how you make money, it's how you make money. I never cared though. It never bothered me ever. You know, especially after I started meeting porn stars and learning like how cool they are. Just what but what what if like so like you would talk to a girl with only fans right? I have. Okay, so but like what if like she needed me to come in to hit only for content? Would that bother you or do you think you could be my? No, I wouldn't do. I don't think I do that. But I've I've messed with only girl, fans girl that made I think over two million dollars on OnlyFans. Are they getting hit though or self infliction? No, no, just naked. You wouldn't be able to handle like someone hitting. Um, it wasn't hard to come back to your dick. I was in a lot of pain for a few days, mm-hmm. so having sex was, you know, it was reupholstered. I don't know if I can handle it. I just don't. It's like, it, why the fuck? Do, if that's what you do, I just don't really think I care to, like, not on some like exclusive. Like, well, I mean, again, like I said, I'm not really, I don't really do the exclusive thing, but I just don't know if I want to deal with someone who is doing that. Personally, we could be friends all day. Yeah, I couldn't do that. It's too much of a mental storm. I don't even think that. It doesn't... I don't think what bothers me is just, like, personally, I don't think I want to be with someone. I mean, because you have a choice, you know? It's not like a dictatorship when it comes to relationships. You have a choice on who you deal with. You know? So, like, I think my personal choice is I don't care to, you know? But, I, but I, again, I know porn stars with boyfriends. Those Strong-minded. Strong minded. I'm I think they're usually in force open, of the Jedi. I think they're right. usually in. I think they're usually in open relationships, though. <clears throat> you know, it just wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't equal up, though. You know. Yeah, I always like, say. What can I do? I always to equal say, like, up to you like, it was one person that I was uh, about to be in an open relationship with, but I told she was bisexual, so I told her you couldn't fuck. She already knew, like, you couldn't fuck men. We never actually got into it, but we had a conversation about it. Uh, because she liked women too. I was like, yeah, okay, fuck all the bitches you want. Yeah, I agree. Fuck, fucking man is just like not. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be able to not think about it. Like I, I struggle with that. Like on some mature shit. Like, like even if a bitch fucked a nigga in high school, like, and then I meet the nigga at the Kroger, I'm gonna be like, damn, was he? Because it was high school. Like that nigga probably had more energy than like. It's funny because like, I don't care if we're not on that those terms. Wait, what, what you mean? Like, if we just talk and we just, like, if it's just some shit where, like, we just, it's a casual sex thing, I don't give a fuck what you do. I, know, I see, I'm not on that. I got to stop with that. It's no I, way I you think every bitch you've ever talked to was only fucking you. I would think that if you didn't remind me that they weren't. 
but you bring me down. And then one you time, really, you are very not narcissistic. You know that, bro. One time, this is the craziest shit ever. One time, this man told me like this girl, like yo, bro, like you know, like she's not, like she's not fucking just you. I'm like, bro, shut up. Like I'm down there living with her or whatever. One day, I get a name. I finally get a name. And then me, when I approach, like, a girl with something, it's like, Rico. You know what I mean? Like, I got enough evidence to go in type shit. But this time, I actually didn't. I just had a name. But like, I got approached her, like, yo, like, all these niggas, like, blah, blah, blah. And then she finally started telling me everything. No lie. She named, like, 17 niggas. Like, during the span. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, she, I'm like this. Like, I don't know if it was 17, but I ran out of both hands. Like, she's like, Leroy, man, I'm so sorry. <laughs> she's like, Michael, man. I'm like, oh, this is a real Rico. Like, oh, shit. I'm like, damn, all I can think about how Bo would say, like, you know, she's all, like, oh, fuck. But that's why I just stick to one now because it is dangerous out there. I mean, now you stick to one. You were sticking in one then. She just wasn't sticking in the one. No, she, she wasn't. Was, she was not the one then. She was one no, then. She wasn't. I had no, a one. You, you said, know that's why. You said, you said, that's why I stick to one. Now. You were sticking to one then. That was your one then. She, she was not my Yes, one. she was your one. Bro, I'm not talking about what we share. I'm talking about the little one, bro. That was not my one, bro. You know I Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I never said that about her. You never said what about her? I might have said that about oh, her. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, bro. I don't know. You did like her, though. Yeah. But it's nothing wrong with that. We all, we all do that. Yeah. I mean, you know, I think... <laughs> what do you think? Like, how do you think shit's going to work in, like, 10 years when all the OnlyFans chicks, like kids grow up and they're like in school and like you know like i guess to a point where it's just like you know you have all these kids who's like mom just like titties are on the internet yeah bro it's not even gonna matter because like, there's gonna be so many like like yo bro you know your mom has only fans too type shit it's gonna be like that like so many bitches it's so crazy fans. bro i remember you used, to, you used to have to work so fucking hard for a new <laughs> bro High school? Fuck that. Eighth grade? Ooh. Bro, getting that new was like dead ass getting a championship ring. Like, it's like getting a gather fuck. around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, come look at this. <laughs> gather around. Everybody got to see this shit. Really? I wasn't on that. I was on some like, bro, yeah. this is my forever. This is I would never show this to nobody. Oh, I was treating that shit like game tape. Like, everybody like dollar, sit down dollar, like, right dollar, here. Dollar, dollar, this is what she went out of bounds. Like. Right. Don't let that happen in the next I was, game. I was, I was cherishing my shit. I'm talking about nobody. I wouldn't even... It was like... A, like I was keeping news to myself. He was really one of them niggas. Yeah, I was one of the niggas that they talked about. I'm not gonna... But she was one of them niggas to keep the news to yourself. Yeah, That's yeah. I just felt like... Because back then you used to have to really... Sit on the phone at five in the morning every for you did have every to night. And you did have to work hard. Wake up and go to the Texting sleep on every phone. damn day and yeah. going to the movies and shit. Like, bro, yeah, you, you had to, to really money. work for a new. Yeah, you you think I'm about to shed this with you, nigga? You ain't do nothing. You don't deserve this. Nah, I was almost I was always like, bro, you gotta see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, damn man, like it's concerning. Like, brother, come in the next like you have to see this. Like, <laughs> But then they sound like an investigator. Like, no, seriously. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, I get that. I'm down there. Whenever niggas do chain message for it, I'm starting it off. Chain text. Like, niggas down there had my phone. Like, bro, you know you sent me this. Like, my bad, gang. Like, <laughs> my bad. I didn't want you to miss it, bro. All right, so come, come clean. Mm -hmm. Come clean. It's, it's a safe place. Yeah, yeah. Well, they never keep it real. You know that. Is <laughs> <laughs> you up? Was you, was you? Swapping them out, like send, send, send them back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, nah, he's crazy. He's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I get, like, I did it one time, and I'm like, wait, I'm tripping. You lying? It's been more than one time. Mm -mm. If you did it once, you did it more than once. All right. Okay. I, I, I did it. I, I, it's clear you're not gonna be honest. So let's move on. How? When's the last time? You're not. Even, you're not. You're really not gonna be honest about this. When's the last time you sent one? I don't know, last I'm gonna make it even easy for you to not lie. Was it in the last five years? No, I'm not doing Boston login in the last five years. That's crazy. Bo Boston login? Yeah, you know when you put your leg up. <laughs> what the fuck? That was before I had any what type is, of <laughs> notoriety, brother. What? 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 The Boston login. You put your leg up. Like, <laughs> 
I probably seen that out like three to five times, but I wasn't really heavy Boston? on it. I've never heard that term ever in my life. Yeah, I, I, I probably never. Somewhere between three to five times. I wasn't big on that. Have you ever got a, <clears throat> a bad review back to you from someone else? From some, A bad review from someone else about someone else about you. That's all. I'm saying that crazy, but have you ever got a bad review back to you from someone by someone else about you? Bro, I, I got like a bad review like on the phone with someone else and I overheard them. Like, there was someone else having a conversation, and I overheard this bitch on the other phone talking about me. Like, wait, you get what I'm saying? Come on. You was on the phone with someone. Yeah, I was on the phone with my. You overheard someone else. She, and then she was, he was with a girl. He. <laughs> All right, I don't wait, wait, no, no, no. That's not crazy. <laughs> what the hell? No, I don't, hold on, hold on. Listen, I was on the phone with my mans. At the, he was my mans at the time. <laughs> what? What is grow up, y'all? Y'all know this is a problem, and y'all just making everything crazy. Bro, grow up. What are Picasso. you talking about? Elaborate. Him. I was on the phone with my homie. All right. He was with a girl. She was on the phone with the girl that I did something with, and I overheard oh, her. Oh, the girl on the phone. Yeah, overheard, overheard, overheard her saying things. I'm not going to say what, because like, she was tripping. What happens? But none of it, but, but none of it was true. None of it was true. Like, that whole four inch, five inch thing. Cap. I'm not gonna talk to you about it, but Cap, you know, you made that up, Cap. You just put that on the spot. <laughs> you didn't have to say what they said. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Sorry, I thought you wanted like more detail. I'm sorry. But she was like mad. You know, that's what I hate. Like, don't get mad at me and then start lying. Like, don't do that. Like, that, like that's like a virus. Girls get mad and they start making up shit. Like, oh, he's gay. And like, shut up. I wasn't gay when I was striking, so I don't try to say no shit like that. So you got multiple things. You got gay, four inches. What they didn't hit me with an STD one one time. That's now, that one was slightly true, but it was technicalities <laughs> to that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair yeah. Enough, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Okay. You've got multiple things then. Yeah. That's fair. Okay, I'm, I'm joking. The STD do you think wasn't true. It wasn't, bro. I promise. I'm just joking. I ain't never had no shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, bro. All right. Shit, let's move on to our questions. Right, let's see what we got here. <clears throat> you ready? This weekend I was uh this weekend I was sleeping over my boyfriend's house. We each had a bottle of wine, so by the end of the night I was ready to pass out. We each, y'all both that's not a blunt. Y'all both had bottles of wine? Why the fuck didn't they share one bottle of wine? Jesus Christ. We both had it. We each had a bottle of wine, so by the end of the night, I was ready to pass out. I woke up in the middle of the movie, and I almost 100% caught him looking through my phone. I go up to go to the bathroom, and saw my phone wasn't plugged into the charger anymore. I used the bathroom, and the phone was back up on my charger. He didn't find anything, obviously, but this is not the first time it's happened. I haven't said anything yet because I didn't care if I should be plotting on what. Plotting or what? What should I do? What? What do you suggest I do? Excuse me, sorry. I won't lie. That's so fucked. Yo, bro, because it's one thing to get... A nigga go through your phone and he catch you. That's a hard one right there. But a nigga go through your phone and you're innocent? Yo, bro, you have all the power. Yo, if a bitch go through my phone and she finds nothing, I will become the rudest, most disrespectful... Loudest. Well, yeah, that's when you get to evolve. Huh? You, you get to evolve. Into, oh, you get to go into your highest into, moment of niggotry. Yeah. Like, I'm black. That purple badge. And like, I'm black. I am the man, Medal of Honor. Like, oh, I'm, no, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You went to the man that is Medal of Honor for and you didn't find anything. How could you ever disrespect Dumb me bitch, like that? You, how could you go through my... F and I knew you would go through it. I knew you would go through it. Stupid. Yo, bro. That's a dream of mine. No, that is a dream. I'm not gonna lie. Go, go through, through my, my phone and, and don't find, find nothing. nothing. Like I'm like, cheating that same day. I'm. I'm for, like, first off, first off, I'm breaking. I'm. You'll never hear from me again. Cause how come you didn't trust me, bitch? Are you gonna leave? No, cause not, you got all the power now. No, but oh, you don't leave, brother. It's like oh what? Now you're calling me through the middle of the night. And you thinking I'm. Having a threesome, like what? When I'm really, really having all the power, then. But like now, like it. You know what I'm saying? Don't go through my phone. Hmm. You do get all the power at that point. You get all the power. Now they gotta bro. make it up, and they feel bad. The only thing is, 
I'm um, so big on trust, bro. I'm like, like how how dare you, bitch? Oh, well, I was gonna say the only thing is, um, if she like if a girl went to your phone, good guy, like you would have a no case for yourself. So like, <laughs> this is super hypothetical. I mean, like I'm talking about man. Bitch, like, go through from, my phone. She needs to sign up for the FBI because I'm like I don't know how the fuck you got through my phone. Oh yeah, hey, if you out there and you still using Face ID, you stupid. You, you Are you stupid? The face Federal ID, bro. Bureau of investigation. If you can get crack my phone. You don't need well, you got six digit password? Huh? You got six digit password? It don't matter what I got, bro. It's irrelevant. I got six digit password. Now, I used to have, have I used to have a name password. Yeah, alphabetical. Ooh. But alphabetical, you're clearly doing something wrong. Yeah, yeah. Like, if I'll you got alphabetical like password, like, yeah. whoa, brother. Yeah. yeah. Like what the name? fuck are you trying to hide? Yeah, you want some shit. <laughs> you got some shit. Yeah. God shouldn't see. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Well, All yeah, right. just um, whoever it is, yeah, you fucked up. All right. I need your guys' help. I just found out my girlfriend cheated on me because a dude DM'd me and told me. What a nerd with proof. And aside for the fact. I now think the bitch is the scum of the earth. I also feel like a fucking loser. I don't care why I thought this could never be me. Have you guys ever been cheated on? How do you find out? Because DMing him, because him DMing me makes me also feel like a little bitch. What do I do for me? Okay, a couple things. Let's break this down. What a nerd. Why did he, why you, like, if, sh like, what's the reason to go out of your way to tell another nigga that her bitch is cheating? That's so gay. You're going to ask for that one. That's lame. That is so, like, <clears throat> Unless the bitch pissed him off or some shit. Owed him money or some shit. So is it still lame? I mean, let's just like the opposite. Yeah, I just, I can't see a world where like I'm going to go tell a bitch's nigga. That's some real bitch shit. Yeah, that's lame. Not even if it was the opposite, I wouldn't do that. Just because you sacrificing a bitch. Yeah. Don't sacrifice the I don't. I just don't think it, I just don't see a world where I would want to do that. Why did my, that's never crossed my mind, ever. Ever. You know what I'm saying? Like. But also, I don't think you should feel like a loser because, bro, it's not, bro, what, what they got to do with you? She's the hoe. Don't blame yourself, brother. You're a good man. You're good. Man. I'm not going to lie. He already sent the picture. So, brother, you got to go into emergency planning. Hit his girl. Yeah, that probably will be happening. If he already feels like a loser, he's probably now nah, got those kind of balls. Yeah, um, you, have been, oh, you clearly have been cheating on it. I never been uh, cheating on her, but <clears throat> what? Do you remember the time I was we weren't dating, but I was messing with a girl and went to the uh, the casino, yeah. yeah, and out of town, yeah, and I came back, yeah. Yo, let me tell the story. Yeah. All right, never publicly tell the story, but I want to tell the story now because it was so crazy. All right, <laughs> this might be like four or five years ago. <clears throat> All right, probably five, four or five years ago. Anyways, I was messing with this chick, right, and. I went to the casino in Alabama. No, North Carolina. Went to the casino in North Carolina with the homies because it was this point in time when I was just like gambling heavy. And um, gambling, whatever. And I was talking to this chick. And she went out. And something happened. She was drunk or something happened. When I, something, I can't really, I don't really remember. But it was a situation where like she was talking to me. She was texting me and I would call her and she didn't answer. And then I called her. She didn't answer. And then she called me back in like two minutes, but she was in the bathroom. It's like, like, it's not like, like you're not naked, so you didn't just shower. You're not on the toilet, you're just standing in the bathroom, but you didn't just answer two minutes ago. Like, why are you calling me in the bathroom? I'm like, obviously, bitch, you just ran away from someone to talk to me. But I just remember when I drove home, I was thinking about the entire ride. I was like, bro, I know this bitch is fucking what's on right now. And what happened was she looked like, almost an hour for me. I went home two, three in the morning. It's like, no, because by the time I got to the house, the sun was up. So it was like five in the morning, got to the house. Or maybe six in the morning, got to the house by seven in the morning. This bitch has a kid, right? So like, I went to her house and her garage was open. I was tripping. First off, I just went to her house six in the morning because I just felt it. And her garage was open and her, her garage was open and her garage door was open. Like the door was open. Like, I go from, like, drunk night, like, just drunk as fuck. So, I'm like, what? Almost, like, at first, I'm like, damn. So, I'm breaking this bitch or some shit? So, I 
I, I get out there. I get out the car. I got. I got. I got my gun because I'm like, damn, her door is wide open. Her garage is open. Like, she got kids. So I'm like, in my head, I thought the kid was there. So I'm like, there's no way she just her, it's six in the morning. Her door be wide open. I walk in. It's a nigga sleep on the couch. Who you, bro? No shirt on. Look at the nigga. Then I go upstairs. And she's in her room, passed out. Her homegirl passed out in her daughter's room. Her daughter was not, not there, I guess. She was naked in her bed. And so technically, it was no evidence of cheating. But I know for a fact the nigga was there for her. I feel like everybody was just extremely drunk. And I had no case. But I acted like I did. And I got the truth. So when I not, I woke up, I was tripping. I had a gun in my hand. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't like pointing it at her. I wasn't, I wasn't pointing the gun at her. I was just like, bitch, what the fuck going on? And then she woke up. She was so startled because she thought I was out of town because in Alabama. But I came back because it's only, I mean, New York, North Carolina. I didn't tell her I was coming back. She thought I was staying. So she, I don't know why she just like thought I knew. I don't think she knew the nigga was downstairs. I think she thought the nigga was in bed with her. Cause she got up so frantic, like, oh, I can explain, I can explain, I can explain. And then I was so pissed. I just made a real scene. I went downstairs, woke the nigga up, gun in hand. Nigga, who the fuck is you, nigga? Nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, what the fuck? Nigga, what's going on? It was so, it was so crazy. It was such a crazy scenario. Nigga was like this, like, gangster, like, I don't know if he was gangster. Now. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know. I really didn't give a fuck. So I'm like, I don't know what the nigga was drug dealing nigga. Some nigga, but he was like, I remember never. He was an older guy, so I remember the nigga like, I'm holding the gun in my hand, me and him. You know what I'm saying? And he like, man, listen, young, young blood. Like, he damn near like trying. He on some like, man, you got a life ahead of you, man. Like, you gonna kill me, man? Like. This a hoe, man. Like this a real hoe. Like <laughs> you gonna crash out over. And it was, that was one of the times I really realized, like, damn, bitches really ain't shit, you know. And I'm about to really crash. Like really about to crash. Like I was really about to do some dumb shit. I just was so upset. I wasn't thinking. What was the solution? I left. But you know when I left, you wanna know the craziest part. I left my phone. Oh my god! I, know, I left my. Bro, you phone. did everything so like fire, everything I, I, movie I'm like. I'm blacked out. I'm talking about gun in hand. Everybody's scared. Everybody. I'm talking about everybody's scared. I'm just like, I'm so sorry, baby. I'm, 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 I'm talking about everybody. I'm gun. I'm I'm John Wick. I'm, I'm John Morant. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like 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 everything. You know with that Terrence bitch. Howard apparently, I lead man. That bitch. Pull off Maybach. Pull off. I pull out the driveway. I didn't have my. Way to way to run a great great. But I couldn't story. go back. I couldn't go back. Like yo, I know you're mad and everything, but like like is this like is this your phone? Like could you come back? Like, I, I, well, yeah, just I, leave it in the mailbox. That's crazy. So then she had I had I had to call her and act like act like I had to call her and act like I forgave her. So she would bring my phone. Then I cut her off. Damn, bro. Yeah. I was I was I was fucked up though. I was fucked up, but I was fucked up. That was the first time that I was ever like mentally fucked up about and we weren't even dating. You know? I don't even get it. I don't know why I was so fucked up by it. I guess cause I fucked with her. Yep. We smoking right now. Yeah. Anyways, all right, cool. Question three. I have a serious situation. My BF and I live together, and he got a little too drunk the other night. I walked into our room, and he passed the fuck out. Mm. I walked into our room the other night. He was passed the fuck out, but Grinder was pulled up. Sending pictures of his dick to other men, and also receiving. I freaked the fuck out and had to leave. But we talked about 
we talked about things the next day. I was really understanding and open minded and asshole and asked him if he wanted to explore that side. He claimed that he didn't want that. I guess my question is how do I move forward and try and trust him again? And do you think he wants to dabble with that side? But I just doesn't but just doesn't want to come out gay or bisexual. That's crazy. First off, God damn, you are a strong minded bitch. To even be open. Well, I guess it's different. If it was the opposite of it, nah, I don't know. I think if I was a chick, I would be like, oh, nah, nigga, you're gay. Like, I'm cool. Like, I, I just don't know, like, but I get it. I respect, I mean, I respect you as a woman. Like, I mean, also, when you're in love with someone and you love somebody, it's like, bro, you damn near, like, because I remember, I even thought about it for a bit. I was like, damn, this bitch did do this, but like, could I still mess with her? Nah, bitch, you tripping. You know what I'm saying? When you like somebody, you love someone, you That's really true. get blind. I've done that. Yeah. So, um, but I think him not being honest with you and telling you that he's clearly a gay man makes him a nerd. Because he should just tell you. Because if you, if you care enough, if you, he should see that. If you care enough to, like, consider it, he should be honest with you. Um, what's going on, y'all? I don't know what that is. He knows what grinders. How dare he act like? What? He I'm too know. like just like like I'm too like. What is that? It's like a what, what is it? <laughs> I'm gonna no. be familiar with such a. What is it? You never heard of it? Huh? No. No, so nobody know what it is now. I just told you. Oh, what is it? Tinder. Oh, a gay t- thing just for gay men. Nah. <laughs> 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 oh, bro. Okay. All right. Well, look. Hey, there you have it for our episode, man. Um, a safe place. We want to thank all you guys. We want to thank our fantastic sponsor, Happy Dad, um, for coming through and supporting us. And um, if you guys want to see more of us, man, don't you dare forget to subscribe to our podcast. You know, we are on Apple, Spotify, and YouTube. You can get those reminders on new episodes every other week. Um, and also if you're watching this and you have a boss that may want to take a chance with us and be another sponsor, please come our way because we need you. Um, yeah, again, I'm your host, Yadi, and, uh, I'm Mitch, man, RIP all my niggas in that submarine. And we'll see you next time. Awesome.